happens in Thailand stays in Thailand. The residents of the White Lotus are checking in as the hit Max original series returns for a third season. HBO have only dropped a few short clips in their latest sizzle reel, but we have a lot to cover. So join me today as we take a look at everything we know so far about the White Lotus Thailand. And like this video for more White Lotus content. You're watching Matthew Rogers. Yes, the White Lotus is headed to Thailand this time around, with this photo being shared on socials back when they were filming in February of this year. This image also confirming the official logo for the new resort, as well as creator Mike White returning to direct. HBO gave Mike White basically full creative control this entire series, and considering the consistent quality this show has displayed in the two seasons thus far, it's a relief to have him continuing the vision he has for the show. Back in June of 2023, I myself went to a live Q&A with Mike White and Jennifer Coolidge, which was incredible as it was inspiring, seeing these two creative powerhouses share insights on the show. Mike White received some strong criticism for what happened to Coolidge's character Tanya at the end of season two, and spoilers if you haven't seen it. However, he had two responses to the negative opinions on her accidental death. First, he never thought the show would even get a second season, yet alone a third, so he wanted to give Tanya a proper send-off. And secondly, he asked if you could possibly think of a more perfect way to kill off Tanya, who, although has a financial fortune, seems to attract nothing but social misfortune. But to be fair, most fan complaints weren't to do with how she was written out of the show, and rather just that we don't get any more Jennifer Coolidge, unless we're treated to a prequel at some point. White also said in the Q&A, well, I'll let him speak for himself. My dream would be able to like hit every continent, so I was like, yeah, this would be, this is like its own continent, basically. This, I mean, we kind of have to come to Australia if we keep going. Yeah, Australia gets my vote. There of course comes a time when the cast must check out of the resort, permanent or not, and although this third season we'll be seeing a lot of new faces, we'll also be seeing the return of a familiar face in Natasha Rothwell, who played Belinda in season 1. Belinda is surely still feeling the sting of what could have been when Tanya rug pulled her spa business opportunity at the end of her season. Hopefully Thailand will bring fresh opportunities for her, as she's arguably one of the only kind-hearted and selfless characters we've seen so far in this cast. However, another possible familiar face is Season 1's Connie Britton, who played powerful businesswoman Nicole Mossbacher. Britton has told Deadline, quote, Mike White wanted me in the second season, and there was an idea that I loved for the character. A piece of casting didn't work in the second season, and we're hoping to do that in the third season, end quote. And further fuel was added to the rumour mill when Britton appeared on Stephen Colbert, obviously avoiding answering the question at all costs. Care to comment? Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Deadline has confirmed that the new guests and staff of the White Lotus Thailand will include Parker Posey, Carrie Coon, Leslie Bibb, Dom Hetrical, Jason Isaacs, Michelle Monaghan, Tame Tapfentong, Milos Bigovic, Christian Friedel, Morgana O'Reilly, Lech Petrovati, and Charlene Perry. Blackpink's Lisa is also set to make her acting debut, being Thai herself, and Variety then recently revealed five new cast members, Patrick Schwarzenegger, Amy Lou Wood, Walton Goggins, Sarah Catherine Hook, and Sam Navola, many of whom have shared photos this week celebrating the wrapping of filming for the third season. Something I look forward to every single season is the soundtrack by Christabel Tapia Devere. I've said in previous videos the haunting soundtrack is almost a character within itself, making any mundane scene such as a simple dinner amongst friends feel like a high stakes free for all. The main theme song for season 2 went mega viral and a Thai inspired version of the score intrigues me to say the least. I know I'm in the minority here, but the first season had a way better soundtrack than the second, so I'm hoping for a return to a similar soundscape to what we heard in Hawaii. But let's shift gears and talk about the White Lotus itself. Seen here briefly in the sizzle reel, the White Lotus keeping to show tradition will be filmed at another Four Seasons property. 
Season 1 was filmed at Four Seasons Maui, Season 2 in San Domenico Palace in Tormina, a Four Seasons property, and this season will be at Four Seasons in Koh Samui. However, if you're thinking about checking into the property yourself, the villas booked for filming locations cost upwards of 12,000 US dollars a night. As mentioned before, filming has now wrapped and they're now entering post-production. If previous years are anything to go by, the official trailers drop about three weeks before the season itself, and check-in is set to open in 2025, so we might have a bit of time yet before we get another look. Both previous seasons released in the latter half of their respective years, so I'd expect the same here. But what or who are you most wanting to see in the White Lotus Thailand? Let me know. Until next time, you can keep up with what I'm watching by following me on TikTok, Twitter and Letterboxd, which are all linked in the description. But for now, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.